frame 10. Stuart Bingham to break. see a pretty good cue ball this is tough but he will have a go at it he'd be on the black if he could knock it in wow oh. uh, where's that red gonna finish Bingham foot. he's okay if that red had a stayed uh, the other side of the balk line Stuart would have had that chance that he's looking for these are so tough quite easily uh, put the white in from that sort of shot. Well, that was a little bit unlucky. He's got a good white, but he played deliberately there to open the pack, so there's nothing wrong with Stuart Bingham's thinking. He's looking for that one chance that would get him into the semi-final. Played a very attacking safety shot there. But this will sneak in. Well, that cue ball is close, but it's okay. Yeah, this was the last shot that he played. Now, have a look at this shot. You know, he tried to open all the pack up. He knew he'd got a good white. Uh, thinking very positively, uh, Stuart. <coughs> well, it's shaping up to be a little bit of an awkward frame with the blue, pink and black already off their spots. First chance, I thought he was going to have a chance to take a red in the left corner and screw over and leave it on the black, but the green's finished awkward. Uh, he'd be hampered slightly with that queuing. Yes, likewise, the red on the right-hand side, he could have played if the, if the pink or black had been available into that hole, but this will require good queuing. Yeah. There'd have been some shot for that one. As good as he's queued today, and he has played well, Stuart, but that's uh, digging down a little bit. That would have been some shot. Might be able to get him in behind the green here. Nice. <laughs> One. <laughs> he's, he's in behind the green, OK, but he took the double on, played it as a shot to nothing, and how quickly did he see that? There was a shot on to just glance off the red and get in behind the green, but that was a double to nothing. Four. Yeah, that was a much better shot than it looked. There's the double that we mentioned. The last shot with the green to get down the table was pretty special as well. Generate that power with the side. Could have done with that cue ball going. Not a couple of inches there. He'd have been on a run, run through red onto maybe pink or black. So. Oh, well, <coughs> it's just that there's some of the shots into the middle pocket today have been ridiculously good, and that was another one. Just managed to sneak that black in. Played it probably with a little bit of side there just to 12. ease the black in. 
a little bit left hand side. Thirty. And quickly, he's managed to organise these balls into possible positions. I'd have thought that when he had a double a few shots ago. Twenty. Twenty-one. Well, an anxious <laughs> look from Ronnie. He stopped in his tracks there, but I think he's okay. He can still pot it, but not the angle that he was wanting, as you can see there. Yeah, I don't know whether he got a bit of a ping there off the top cushion. He seems to get a bit surprised the way that came off. Just took him by surprise. It come off a bit quicker than that because he had a little cannon up into the, the red above it, which would have been easy. And now, because of that, he's lost position. So that one extra bounce... It's caused him a bit of problem there. 28. 28. Ronnie O'Sullivan. 28. <laughs> Even that though, Dennis. Good little safety that, wasn't it? Covered the red on the right-hand side with the, the blue. a brave shot to take on there he knew he wouldn't leave a great deal and he would have been on the black but uh, it shows that Stuart Bingham is still pretty positive there you see it just coming up to two hours of fascinating snooker very, very entertaining. Now, where is this going to finish? He's got away with it this time. And was that red past the blue? No, he's just going to play a little screw off the side cushion and keep the cue ball down there. So his heart must have been in his mouth there, Stuart, as those balls have come up the table, playing he wasn't going to leave one on. Be careful if he goes down the left side of the table that he doesn't catch that red near the cushion. That's why he's looking for an alternate. Now that's pretty good, depending on what happens to the cue ball. Uh, the red has come up quite a way. Is he going to be tempted? I'll tell you what, Dennis. It'll be some break even if he knocks it in because black is over on the side rail. Pink looks in a horrible spot. I have to try and play on blue here if he's knocking this in. Wow. Now if that's not if he can snick that red in the sends and it looks like he can, he's just brought the black right into play. That's a double whammy. Missed the pot and set Stewart up. Well, that's not a bad One. cannon. He's developed that red, pushed it over the middle pocket. He's on the black. It's amazing. When Ronnie came to the table, everything looked fairly safe. He thought, I'll have a go with this red. I won't be leaving a great deal. The colours are safe. And as John mentioned, he developed the black simply because he didn't cue the red too well. Let's have a look at this here. He just thought, well, I'll be on the yellow, Eight. but he cued across it again, and look the worst possible outcome. 
It's amazing what can happen in this game of snooker. One shot like that. I think his match play has been absolutely fantastic. Ronnie, the last couple of frames. Every shot's had a purpose. There's been trouble every time Stewart's come to the table. Nine. That was the first one that was slightly awry, and look what happened. Hmm. A little awkward. We mentioned earlier that played nine times. Ronnie's won eight of them. But the one that Stuart did win was in 2010. And that was in 70. the UK Championship. He beat Ronnie 9 6. That's when it used to be the first to 10 all the way through. Or first to nine, I should say. Can he hold himself together? Yeah, the boys in the studio 24. spoke about it. Just said, all you're looking for is your chance to win frame and match. Stuart Bingham, this is it. 25. All about this cannon. And that looks pretty good. He's only got the black to work with. He may have 32. to go up the table looking at the angle he's finished here. He'd love the blue back on its spot, but uh, it's hidden slightly with the brown. So. Thirty-three. Could have done with just a little bit more pace on that one. And he had quite a margin for error there, Stuart. Cue ball a little bit further rather than shorter was the way there because he had yellow, brown or blue that was going to pot, so could have done with a little bit extra. Just one or two shots away from getting back up with the black end. Slightly overscrewed that one as well. Tension, Dennis. Yeah, he's going to have to work a bit harder now. 35. He would have loved to have been on this red to get to the black, as you said. And well, Ronnie knows that uh, Stuart's still got a lot of work to do here to knock him out. Now oh, that's much 36. better. that again he's going to have to carry on with the brown or one of the colors that's up that end of the table 40. Yeah, it's not real problem it's just making it a little bit more difficult for him oh i'm just wondering if he can get to the black he can he could oh he's a bit closer to the cushion one which means it's not that easy to control the cue ball here there's one loose red Near the pink spot. And there you go. Stuart Bingham. You know, he was always 41. sort of scrapping for position in that break, wasn't he? Never, never really perfect at any part, part of that break. Always just a little bit off here and a bit there. Ultimately, the pressure built up. He missed the black. This is going to develop into quite a tense affair, this frame. A frame that would keep Ronnie O'Sullivan in this year's UK Championship. A frame that would put Stuart Bingham into the semi-final. Mm, this looks pretty good to me. What a terrific shot he's played there. Ronnie's got to play for the one over the pocket. Oh, that's a long way off. 
could have done with maybe giving that a little bit more thought. Foul. Miss. Because he should Stuart have Bingham really. Fought. He had a good margin for error there to miss it on that side. He just seemed to rush that one. One. He's still going to need one of the difficult reds on the side cushion, and he didn't play a perfect positional shot there, John. It's funny when you're just scrapping to try and get over the line, how many times the cue ball runs away for you. It's just amazing. Just go slightly off. Still expect him to knock this in, but there's, it's a lot more difficult than it could have been. Effort, but once again, a little cut back with the red. He'll be heading up towards the colours, the other end of the table. And now, nine. What sort of angle has he got here? He's a little bit straightish on the brown and blue to bring the red into play. Just had a quick glance at the scoreboard. Played to leave a double. I think he did, but maybe he's gone a bit too far. Yes, particularly with the other red 13. being on the cushion. Maybe he thinks this is good value to take the double here. <laughs> 14. <laughs> yeah, 35 the difference. There's still a 35 on the table. This. To win the match, you would say. And it's there. <laughs> it's been a fabulous match to have commentated 21. on, John. It's been some superb stuff. It's been great stuff from both players. Stuart Bingham has played superbly well. Ronnie O'Sullivan tried as hard as, hard as he could to get back in this match. Stuart Bingham, it's 21. It's been brilliant to watch. Just over two hours of high quality stuff. Still looking at the scoreboard, 42 the difference, 35 on. And that's a great shot. <laughs> that's the first of the snookers, might be able to swerve around it. You've got the perfect picture there. As well played that by Stuart. He hit it hard enough so he could go in off. Well, there's definitely a chance here. Knocks this in, and it will be shake hands. That's a great shot from Ronnie. Yeah, the Browns now out of commission with regards to getting a snooker behind. And that's Pretty well played again. <laughs> not as easy to hit this time. There's room around the red. He only needs two snookers. It's not all over just yet. Yeah, the problem here is you want to play this slowly so you don't leave a free ball. But of course, that yellow and blue round there, they're easy to snooker behind, so. Careful. He 
he had to hit that because the pace he played it at, he didn't want to leave the free ball. And if he had a missed it, it would have been easy for the second snooker for Ronnie. did attempt that. He also attempted the snooker. And this is awkward. Doesn't want to pot that red, but if it keeps on running, it will go past the yellow. This could be Stewart's big chance. There you see it. And now you don't. What a performance from Stuart Bingham. One. Ronnie will be the first to congratulate him. He had a close match in the Champion of Champions where Ronnie beat him a couple of weeks ago, 10-8, but Stuart Bingham has played a superb match here. Every credit to him. Ronnie from storming back from 4-1 down, and at 4-3, it was anyone's quarter-final. He won't bother about okay. that. Ronnie comes forward Stuart to Bingham. congratulate Stuart, Stuart Bingham. Bingham. The play yeah. ten times. It's the second time that Stuart beat him. And he's beat him twice in the UK Championship. But this will give him a lot of satisfaction.